Hi and welcome to another video. This video is a continuation of my uh, unboxing and review of the actual uh, Asus AX11000 router um, that's compatible with Wi-Fi 6 or 8011AX. Um, so this is the first time set up. Um, I'm using the um, Android app um, but I presume it's the same um, as for iOS or Apple devices um, so I've just switched on the router and downloaded the application for the uh, Asus router and uh, let's get started so first of all you have to click set up new router and then you can select what kind of router you've got as ours is the uh, AX11000 um, so ours would be the top selection as you can see different kinds of routers you have here so if we click on that it now starts to search for your router as you can see it's uh, actually found the router and does this one is dual band or is actually tri band so you can see a 2 gigahertz frequency and the 5 gigahertz frequency um, so you all you have to do is then select which connection you want to do and of course it's always best if you can always select 5G because um, 5G is normally faster and it will take advantage of the new newer technologies you also have to make sure that you have Wi-Fi switched on your device as well so we'll click on the 5G one it's now connecting to the router so you have to wait a few seconds and then it starts to read your router information and the type of router you have and you see it's quite quick so it's identified the router we've got the GT AX11000 um, and it's a welcome screen so you can set it up manually or go through the wizard I think it's normally better just to go through the um, wizard kind of uh, setup first and then if you do want to change any advanced settings later you can log in using the um, a web page uh, format so it's got more details and much clearer so we click start so as you can see I'm currently using BT fiber so my connection is um, nine well one gigabit per second uh, so here you'll have to enter the details of your internet connection if you need to so my one for BT is BT Home Hub at BT Internet dot com and then um, most of them don't need a password but if it still requires one here you just type in for BT specifically it's just BT small, small letters and then you click next then it asks you if there's any special requirements uh, for this. For your ISP, most ISPs don't, so you can just leave that off and click next. Now it will come to assign a unique uh, name for your Wi-Fi or SSID as they call it. So you can see here we've currently got the first 2.4 gigahertz band and then the other two 5 gigahertz bands as well. So as you can see they're separated on the uh, on this router. Because it's specific to gaming, you can see that there's one frequency for 2.4 gigahertz. So that's more legacy older devices, but also it's still good for devices like webcams and doorbell, video doorbells like Ring. Um, is because it's much further away distance and it can still get a signal. And then you've got the 5 gigahertz. And then the third one is for, as it's already named for gaming. So you can then type in your network key, um, so you can set up your passwords for it. So as usual, you'd set something up securely, but for this demonstration, we'll just uh, use the most secure password, password. And we'll just do it password 10. And then you can set it for each one. So as you see, when I typed it there, it set the password for all of them if you don't want that you can change the password 
uh, for the others. So each of the networks uh, have different passwords so you can separate them out. So if you've got children, you can or if you don't want people accessing in the family your gaming channel uh, frequency, then you can change the password only you can know. So in this example, we just keep the password same. We go next and then you'll see here is this is your login information where you can configure also the uh, login name as well. So I advise taking out admin and changing it for something else. But um, just for this example, we'll leave it as admin and then we'll just use it admin again. And of course, you can change all this to make this much more secure. As you said, you can, it says you can't the default password. So for security, so it's quite good. So you can change it to And now once you've set those settings, go on to next, you can now uh, start applying settings and you can see the Wi-Fi router is actually restarting. So you'll have to wait a few seconds. But as you can see, it's actually come up now and connected. It was quite a quick process after it's connected. So the first message you get here is enabling remote connection. So as we're using the app, and you can use the app outside, outside the house as well. So when you're abroad, um, you can connect back to the router if it needs to restart or you need to change anything. Um, you need to enable remote connection. And you can see here, enabling remote connection will modify the following settings. So it enables the dynamic DNS. So that basically sets a name for your web address. So every time you connect to the internet, you get an IP address, address that's just numbers. This will change it from a numbers to uh, normally you can set it up so it's going to be like asusrouter.com and before the main domain you'll have your custom one so you can have it as router20.asusrouter.com you can type that in and something easy to remember you will enable access from WAN and it will open HTTPS protocol as well so that's just secure the same as your uh, bank uses um, the protocol and then the certificates it uses. So you can just click OK. It does give you the normal terms and conditions. Um, and this is connection with, if you want to use Alexa with your router and IFTTT. Um, and uh, we'll come into those later. So I'll just agree. And you can see now it's enabling remote connection on the actual router. So you can see it's connected straight away. It will tell you on the top of the app the uh, LAN IP, real-time traffic that's actually going through the network. And then you'll have your devices that are connected, um, any family groups. You can set up any family members, any profiles, uh, insight. So it will give you information about setting things up in the router and how many devices are actually connecting. And then you've got this button up here for the menu so you can see here and also settings so the settings is here is quite a few and um, we'll actually go through these settings uh, in a minute on the actual web page so it'll be a bit more clear for you to have a look at and there's normally a few more options um, but as you can see that most of the options are available through the app um, that you can turn on and turn off um, so you, you can change and update it and even update the firmware um, on the router. So now we'll go to the advanced options uh, via the web portal.